Hi, it is my honor to share our more efficient feature distillation with zero shot and tension under the tension here. First of all, let's talk about the motivation of our work. We know that there are two different settings for using the trainer detector for detecting the null instance. One of, the, one of them is zero shot detection, another is open vocabulary detection. We realize that the zero shot Object detection assume that the train data should not have any instance of the null carry, which needs the researcher to filter out all image with the null carry instance. At the same time, open vocabulary detection assume that the null carry name are unavailable during training. This will limit the exploitation of the information of null carry. The training of the open vocabulary of the detection sometimes needs additional image or caption, which may not be available in a real life setting. So, given the limitation of both settings, we propose a new setting called zero shot annotation of the detection. Zero shot annotation of the detection allows the train leader to have contain an annotated null carry instance in the image and also allow the carry name to be available in the ones. However, the zero shot annotation of the detection does not allow the additional data involved in training. By defining this new setting, we exploit the null carry of information even though we do not have any null carry annotations. This setting takes advantage of both setting and watches one step forward to real life application. So there's a lot of work proposed to detect null objects after the model was trained on the base category instance. One of the most famous one is VLD, which distilled knowledge from large region language model to detect null instance. But we realized that the VLD ignored the domain gap between the training data of crib and the detection data set. We can see the table two when we directly use script to classify the object instance in the coordinate set, the classification accuracy is around 50%, which is much lower than the classification accuracy of well-trained detector. This indicates the domain gap between the training data of crib and detection data set. Second, the distillation proposals generated by VLD are biased to one base category. So the VLD used the proposal generated from an RPN trained with base carry instance. The distillation proposal will bias to the regions that has base carry instance. In table one, we can see the recall of the RPN on base and null instance on both COCO and LMS data sets. The recall of null is far left behind the result on LMS. So we propose a solution to the problem mentioned above. First, we generate a better distillation region called crib proposal. We generate a predefined anchor on the image. We extract the feature of the anchor and calculate the crib common score. Then we filter the anchor with common score and get the final crib proposals. Our experience shows that the crib proposal can cover more region with no categories of objects which facilitates the exploitation of null carry of the information. Second, we, we normalize the crib by fine-tuning the layer null of crib using the base carry instance. As the figure show below shows this renormalization makes the instant feature more discriminative bridge domain gap, thus improve our learning efficiency. A training and inference of our model. At training, our model is trained with the base carry annotation and the feature from a clear proposal. At inference, our model makes use of the test embedding of null carry for detecting an unseen object. On the experiment side, we evaluate our methods on both COCO and LCSM. ECAD outperforms the previous method in COCO by 4% with much shorter training schedule. In the tables, as you can see, our model used one of its retraining epoch and achieved 4% improvement on the novel when compared with VLD. On average, 
In the original setting, only the rare category will be used as a null category, which only comprise less than 0.5% of all validation annotation. This is too sparse to accurately represent the performance of the detector. Therefore, we propose a new setting called L with F base, which use the frequent category as a null base category and rare and common category as novel, which is more represent representative. Our method is 3% improvement in the Elvis when compared with the previous methods. We present our visualization preparation study. The results on table where they spoke feature adaptation and distillation region selection are beneficial to our detection performance. The visualization also show that adapting adopting the feature adaptation and new distillation regions improve the classification accuracy of our model and thus improve the model image average precision on both data sets. Thank you for listening.